here is the Another Story by a Twinkle original, The Old Toy Room. Let's listen to it. Lottie and her mom were staying at Granny Mabel's house for the weekend. Lottie was excited because she had never slept over and there were so many rooms to explore. She headed upstairs to find her bedroom. As she walked down the hall, Lottie spotted a wooden door with a small rocking horse carved into it. I wonder what's in there, she thought. She took a step closer and gently turned the, uh, turned the doorknob. The dusty door creaked as Lottie pushed it open. She gazed in shock as she emerged into a noisy, bustling train station. Everyone was heading towards the carriages and climbing aboard. The guard blew his whistle to signal that the train was ready to leave. As the platform cleared, Lottie watched the train begin to chug away. Are you not going? asked a deep gentle voice behind her. Lottie turned around and saw the most beautiful white horse. Where are they going? asked Lottie. Today's the day of the grand theater opening, said the horse. The music box ballerinas are putting on a special performance and everyone is invited. Oh no, I've missed the train now, said Lottie sadly. Perhaps I could help, offered the horse kindly. I have a very special job to do for the grand opening, but there's a plenty of time for me to drop you off first. He bowed his head, inviting Lottie to climb onto his back. Thank you, grinned Lottie as she clambered into the saddle. I am Lottie, by the way. My name is Chester, said the horse, and I would be honored to take you. Lottie and Chester chatted and laughed as they galloped through the fields towards the theater. Suddenly, Lottie paused. Look, it's the train, she said. Why has it stopped? Let's go and take a look, said Chester. The train had come to a halt and some of the passengers had stepped out of their carriages. Oh, is everything okay? called Chester as they approached. The bridge has collapsed onto the track replied the train driver. If we don't get these blocks moved soon, we'll all miss the grand opening. Chester stopped and Lottie climbed down. We can fix this if we work as a team, she said confidently. Does anyone have, have any rope? We could use the ribbons, said a doll. I can lift the blocks, said the tin robot. We can help, called a group of toy soldiers. Us too, agreed the bears. Perfect, said Lottie. I think I have a plan. Everyone got to work joining the ribbons together and tying them around the blocks. Chester and the teen Robert pulled the heaviest blocks out of the way while the ducks nudged the smaller ones. The toys formed a long line passing blocks to one another as they sang a happy song. Work together, get it done, teamwork can be really fun. Before long, the track was clear and the blocks were neatly piled up into it. Before long, the, tracks was, the track was clear and the blocks were neatly piled up next to it. I'll send a message to my team, said the train driver. After the grand opening, they will get the bridge rebuilt in no time. The grand opening shrieked a teddy bear. We must get going if we want to make it in time. 
All the passengers climbed back on board and the driver blew the whistle. Why don't I take the train from here, suggested Lottie to Chester. Then you'll still have to do your job. Good idea, Lottie, smiled Chester. He galloped off, taking a shortcut across the field. The train began to chug along the track once more and all the passengers cheered as they headed for the theater. Lottie and the toys arrived to a huge crowd gathered outside the theater. There was a red ribbon across the door and everyone was buzzing with excitement. A trumpet played and everyone fell silent. Lottie was surprised to see Chester walking to the front pulling an elegant carriage with the mayor inside. Wow, that is a special job, thought Lottie. Mayor Wibble Wobble cut the ribbon with a huge pair of scissors and the crowd cheered. Once everyone was inside, the music box ballerinas took to the stage, twirling and leaping gracefully. Suddenly Lottie heard a familiar voice. It's lunchtime now said mom as she stood in the doorway. I've unpacked your tablet if you want to play on it afterwards. Can I just come back in here instead, please, mom? asked Lottie. Of course, I used to love going on adventures with Chester too, smiled mom with a wink. The end.